Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And also, I do have a special guest this week again with me. So if you guys would like to see what I'm liking and maybe not liking and who my special guest is, keep on watching. me talk about who my special guest is. It is Isabel, The Colors of Beauty by Al. I've actually got to meet her through uh, some collabs that I did and on the way we have done some other kind of collabs together and just really got to know each other really well. I have to say like when you're watching her she has this upbeat personality, really brings you in and I just really enjoy that part about her. She um, does a lot of, you know, uh, get ready with me's tutorials and stuff. She really gets into detail in what she's doing when she's applying her makeup and everything, which I think is always really important. The other thing is she does keep up pretty well with the beauty world. She does uh, have a lot of different uh, swatches and reviews on a palette or products in general. So she does do that a lot and I like it that she uses like when she's doing an eyeshadow palette she uses like one side with uh, eye primer and then the other side she usually uh, doesn't put any primer there so you can kind of get an idea if you're somebody that uses primer and maybe not using primer you kind of get a good idea what the uh, payoff is. I will put a link down below to her video please go check her out show her some love and maybe subscribe if you like. I don't think you'll be disappointed and uh, I'm sure her uh, upbeat personality will draw you in just as much as it did me. So. Okay, so let's get into my products. Lately, I feel like I haven't had too much of not liking. I guess my last one I did have uh, one, but um, there's a one product maybe in here that I'm a little not sure about. I don't know if I'd say I'm not liking it, but I was a little disappointed. So, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So, all right, let's start off with the hair care and skin care and all those uh, kind of things. And it was just a little mini deluxe that I got when I ordered stuff from Nick Chavez that I showed you. There's like a shampoo and a conditioner and I'm really liking the shampoo and conditioner. This is his uh, Angel Wings Super Light Hairspray. So this is just a little mini size of it. Well, like a deluxe size. I really like this hairspray and I'll tell you why. Because, well, one, the scent smells nice. It has a nice, lovely, I'm not sure what kind of scent, but just a lovely scent. And the other thing is, is yeah, like when it says super light, it doesn't leave my hair. Like I have it in my hair right now. And it's like one of those ones where I can put my hair, my hair, I can put my fingers through it and it's still soft. Everything's soft. I like that. I don't like the stiff feeling anymore. Back in the day when I was like in the 80s, I came up from the 80s. Yeah, we had the hair thing. So it was like one piece you'd pick, you'd, you know, and it would just the whole, the whole side would come up and everything. You probably know what I'm talking about if you came from the 80s and did the whole hair thing, but I kind of don't like that sticky feeling anymore and I haven't tried too many hairsprays because I went off of the hairspray thing for a long time so I kind of do everything naturally with my hair like I naturally uh, air dry it naturally uh, just let it do its thing and I don't usually normally use hairspray but I kind of wanted to work into the hairspray family again just to kind of keep my hair um, set and you know but I don't want the whole sticky crackly feeling that you can get with some hairsprays. Now um, it is more higher end in his products and everything and I know QVC sells a lot of his stuff too so I'll probably keep a lookout for stuff like that on there of his products. This was sent to me um, a while back ago and I have shared it on uh, one of my one of my videos before my segments of my likes and not likes. Sometimes you'll probably see repeats of stuff, but that's a good thing because, well, especially if it's a like. This is from the Joyco K Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Instant Shine and Repair Treatment, and 
I still need to purchase some products from this brand because I really do like this deep treatment. A really nice soft feeling to my hair. I really like this product and I am liking uh, Joya Co. the couple products that they had sent me in the past. Okay, let's get into skincare and I do have like a lip treatment and one of my most favorite lip treatments. I have a couple. Um, I really do like the Sarah Hap uh, lip treatment. I forget what it's called, lip therapy or something like that. It's kind of pricey, but it is a very, very nice uh, lip treatment. But my other favorite that I I seem to really enjoy a lot is the Nivea Lip Butter Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss is the scent I have in this one, which I don't even think you can get this scent, sadly, anymore. I don't mind these kinds. Some people don't like dipping their fingers in there, so if you don't like dipping your finger um, in and you're kind of, you know, not you don't like that, they do have the lip balm, so you can get that, but I have used up, uh, you could probably, I don't know if you can see that, I'm pretty well getting... To the hip pan part i'm like scraping around the sides but this scent is wonderful i really wish they had the vanilla macadamia kiss i know they had i think they have macadamia you can get any uh, nivea lip butters these are really great i like to put them on right around bedtime or throughout the day a little bit you know to keep my lips um you know nice and um hydrated and everything uh, but I also like to use any kind of lip balm before I'm doing lipstick or any kind of, you know, especially a matte lipstick. It helps to dispense along on your lips and, you know, it it will help put your lipstick and everything on much more flawless than if you didn't put a lip balm on. I've got a couple masks here that I'm going to talk to you guys about. This one here I got from... My Sally's Beauty Supply, which I've already used it, so this is empty, but I wanted to keep the packaging so you guys could see what the packaging looked like. And as you can see, it says the Korean Skin Skincare Mask, and it's the Ginseng, Ginseng Essence Mask. They have several different ones. I think they do have a hyaluronic acid one, maybe. This one's a treatment mask for all skin types. It increases the appearance of the of younger looking skin, botanical collagen like extract, ginseng, and ceramide. Nourishing and balancing, rejuvenating, and firming. So it looks like this. And you get one single packet. They are like two something a piece, but this was really nice. I don't like their other ones that they have. I'm not sure what company. This comes from beyond belief i hope you can see that on the top there beyond belief so i don't know what the other ones were but i didn't like them these ones have that serum kind of stuff on it where the other ones were just wet if you i don't know just they were wet i didn't really get anything from them and didn't really like them as much so the wrinkle care snail 8 mask which speaking of sheet masks this is wonderful. This is just as great and good as my uh, other ginseng mask that I like to get, which I get these from um, I get these from TJ Maxx, and they're usually only five ninety nine, and you get like five in a pack in these things. So these, if you're looking for affordable, you can always find sheet masks. I don't know if I've seen any in my Ross. My Ross didn't have any. Maybe they do get them, but I didn't see any in my Ross. TJ Maxx is usually where I seem to find the sheet masks the most. It's really great. I kind of wished I would have picked up the other one because there was two of these. And But I'm the type like where I usually, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So I didn't want to do that. But now that I know, if I did see another one, a couple there, I would actually grab another pack. And I pulled this out. I seen Little Poet Susan, who I adore very much. She really raves and loves this Lana Cream Bee Venom Mask. Now, I like a lot of products from the Lana Cream company. I have the Manuka Honey uh, Moisturizer. I do have their Rose Serum, the Rose Hip Serum that I'm really enjoying. And when I first tried this product out, it did feel like a little burning sensation. Nothing major, nothing harsh for me. Uh, some other people might 
feel something different because everybody's different in how a product reacts on their skin and feels on their skin. If you are allergic to bees, obviously it is not recommended to use anything with bee venom in it at all because obviously if you're allergic to bees, you're going to have a bad reaction or could have a bad reaction. Uh, I used it a couple different times and I ended up, what I was doing was, I wasn't sure if I was liking that first, you know, the tingly sensation. It does disintegrate after at some point. It, it tells you that you can actually put this on and leave it on for a bit and then you can, uh, you know, wipe it off or cleanse it off or something like that. You can do that or you can leave it on all night long and that's what I did this last time. A couple other times I did uh, remove it and then the last time I did leave it on all night and I really liked it. I was surprised because I was a little nervous because when you first feel that tingly sensation, like I said, I will admit it, it made me nervous at first, first because I thought, uh-oh. So, you know, and heads up, if you did see this product, it will give you that feeling but it does disintegrate, you know, it, it does go away after a while. So this I got my TJ Maxx. Okay, let's go ahead and get into makeup. So for makeup, I was looking all over for this product. This was sent to me actually from I Am Green Minded. You probably had seen me talk about this product. Now this is a small sample. This is just a little sample that they had given me. This isn't the full size. Uh, the full size is a much bigger jar i don't know if it's like this size kind of a jar or maybe a little smaller um, but it is a bigger jar this was just a sample that they sent to me this is for your under eyes and under eye brightener and it is more of a finely milled powder that you use so it has like you know the little dispense thing and and honestly guys like i like my elf setting under eye thing and that's really great for the price and everything but this brightens under the eye more and it is a company i believe her name is actually mary ellen it's a small company put it that way it's a small company so she does have uh, several different products i'll put a link down below they did at the time give me a discount um, I think it would still exist. I'm not sure you can try it. So I'll put all that down below. So I did do a video just recently of a haul. So some of these products will be from the haul video that I've already been working with and playing with for the past week or so. And I do like this um, primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Oil Free Primer. It is quite nice. I never tried the Benefit Professional, but this this has that same look to it, like where it it has a tint to it. It has more of a tint. And let me just say, like when you put it on your skin, it blurs out your pores and, you know, like gets rid of the redness or anything that you have and it's really silky smooth and kind of gives almost a powder finish to it but it's really nice I like it I pat when I get one because this is a little more uh, stiffer like so what I want to say usually what I'll do with those is I'll pat them in first and work along like in the areas that you know and then kind of like blend it out and smooth it out. That's what I usually do with primers like this. This is a really nice one and this is only a trial size. The next product that I'm really liking and uh, I'm glad I did pick up because it was either between this one or the Laura Mercier powder and it was the Cover uh, FX Illuminating, Illuminating Setting Powder. Now when I first saw this because I thought Oh my goodness, when I, when I first dabbed it onto my skin, you can see some glitter specks in there, but don't let that scare you. Do not let that scare you, especially if you do like some uh, illumination to your, you know, your skin or something, you know, like a little more illumination to it. This would remind me of um, sort of like what the hourglass ambient powders do in some sense. But don't let those scare you. I mean, for maybe some of you guys, maybe you might not like it. It might not work for you. But it just softens up 
it gives me like this airbrush finish, but with a glow. I love it. I love it. Love it. If you're like me, that you like to make your skin look a little more youthful and get, give it a little more of a glow. Uh, it's not disco ball glow. It's not anything like a disco ball glow. It just gives a nice natural glow. So next, I'm really liking this foundation. It is the Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And this tube here that has that big fat doe foot applicator that I'm really liking. I'll tell you right now though, a little goes along a long way because my first time I put it on, it didn't, it looked nice, but after a while I thought, ooh, you know, it looked a little bit cakey. So I played with it like, you know, for a whole week. And as I was playing with it, I found a little goes a long way. So I just put a couple of dots along my cheek area, just little dots. The other thing I'm really liking and I found in my TJ Maxx, which TJ Maxx, I swear, I could go nuts in that place. And I think this is from the company, was it iBeauty? I don't have the box now. It doesn't even say on here. It just has powder contour. And that's what they're calling this is the powder contour. But I've been using this for my um, foundation. I've, I've really been liking it a lot to glide it along and do a nice um, flawless application. Yeah, really been loving this brush. Now, this was sent to me by Shauna, uh, love your makeup, wait, love, no, what is, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of Shauna's name, love your makeup or something like that, I can't remember Shauna's name, or Shauna's channel, but I'll put a link down below to it, of course, she sent me several different products, this was one of the blushes from the Kat Von D collection that she had, I think it was actually Shade and Light Blush, this one's in Bonnie and Clyde, with I have been hearing a lot of people seem to have found a lot of these things from Kat Von D in Marshalls. Sadly, I don't have Marshalls, but I have heard a couple few people seeming to find some in their Ross or TJ Maxx. So keep a lookout, keep an eye out. But this is so pretty and they are pigmented. Right, Tara in there. I did hear, I think it was Tara Babies, like I said before, kind of felt they weren't up to par and she was a little bit disappointed in them because she bought the whole bunch of them when they first were at Sephora. Because it seemed like these were at Sephora and then boom, they were gone so quick. So I'm not sure what happened, but they feel smooth. To me, it works great. I have it on my cheeks right now. More of a berry, pinky, mauvey color if you get the Bonnie and Clyde set. That's what it is. And then this little guy here, my little pro to go tartlet or tardiest. Pro Glow to Go has the bronzer and a couple highlights in here. And this powder, this bronzer in here, contour, it's called Chisel, is great for anybody with fair skin complexion. And then the two highlights, I really actually, I like the Gleam. It is beautiful. The Gleam gives a, a nice more sheen glow to it. But I'm also really liking Burst. I wasn't sure if I was going to like Burst. And I don't know if you can see, but Burst is on my cheeks. And I, I really, I really like this palette. And then lastly is the two palettes that I shared on my, my video that I was um, showing my haul. I got from Smashbox. And these are from their uh, Cover Shot collection. This one ha is the Metallic Eye Palette. And this one is the Golden Hour one. It has like more... Uh, purple kind of display on it. This one has more of a yellow, a yellow display on it. I actually have the golden hour on my eyes right now. That's the one I have. And I have to be honest, I think that's my favorite. I like this one here, the golden hour better. I don't know if I actually fully want to say I don't like it so much, but kind of getting disappointed because these colors are pretty in this palette. This is the metal palette here. I mean, like if you see it in person, the colors are really pretty. If you're expecting it to give you a nice foiled metal look on your eyes, it is not going to do that. So if you're looking, you're thinking it's going to be a nice shine, metally kind of a, you know, like some of the other ones are like Makeup Geek or anything like that. It is not going to do that. It's not going to give you, it's more subtle and soft than anything. Maybe if you wet them, I didn't wet mine, but it wasn't what I had thought it was going to be. It swatched great, 
but not on my eyes, if you know what I mean. Sometimes that happens. Now this one, the golden hour eye one, this one's been really nice for my eyes. And I actually used that peach shade that I was telling you guys about. There's like a peach shade in there. And then that plummy purple shade there and everything. Those have looked really nice. That look alone with the peach and the purple, that plummy purple, or it's almost like a cranberry purpley color. To, it looks like that worked and looked beautiful on my eyes. I mean, it really made my eyes pop and stand out. And right now I have more of this uh, bronzy shade and did put that little plummy in there somewhat. And I feel like this pa this palette flatters, if you have hazel eyes, green eyes or anything, I feel like the golden hour, hour will flatter your eyes a little bit more. All right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Um, please do not forget to go and check out Isabel uh, and her channel, Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'll put a link down below to her video. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that so much. And it would help me out a lot to get out and about, out and around there. If you did just join my channel and you're not subscribed yet, um, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week. Also, do not forget to hit the bell that's right next to the subscription. That will notify you and let you know when some of my new videos are up. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.